Now I've listened to you varmints bragging about cowboys, the toughest you've known. But the first liar don't have a chance, boys, because I knew one tough to the bone. He come out from someplace in Kansas, and in truth, he was hard to dislike because he weren't really mean, just hard-headed. We called him P. Williker Mike. When the weather got down below freezing, well, he'd never cover his ears, so now each one looks like a knot hole because the pieces broke off through the years. And a she-bear invaded his camp once, insisted on sharing his plate, but he saved the last of his biscuit, though now he can just count to eight. And he used to have both of his elbows and a forehead without so much slope till a cow jerked him out of the saddle and he wouldn't let go of the rope. Well, he's faster than most fixing fences, though it's almost beyond belief because he keeps both hands free for pounding by stretching the wire with his teeth. And what's more, he don't use a hammer. Drives nails with the back of his hand. This last thing I'm fixing to tell you will prove that there's no tougher man while bringing a cow to the home ranch, adrift in a cowboy's dreams, a rattlesnake up and surprised him. And his horse come apart at the seams. He bucked clean out of the saddle so high that his bad breath condensed, and he come down a cussin' and lighted a straddle a dead gum bob wire fence. Cut him right up to the buckle between his feet and his chin. Hey, he just let his stirrups out longer and rode his old pony on in. This is Baxter Black from out there.